Hi, welcome to Parametric House. Uh, when you download the example file, there are going to be four files, uh, which is cluster one and two and example file one and two. The cluster one is going to be a component which you can produce a gyroid uh, pattern between two surfaces. So as you can see here, the, these are the two surfaces which we have imported from Rhino. The second cluster is going to be a component which you can produce the gyroid uh, pattern on a surface and you just have to define uh, a distance which is going to be the offset uh, on this surface. There's also a video for example file 1 and example file 2 which I'm going to explain the algorithm and how it's going to produce the final results in Rhino. So let's get started first with the cluster 1. Uh, as you can see here, it's going to produce a gyroid, a 3D gyroid pattern between two NURBS surfaces. I'm going to turn off the two surfaces I have imported from Rhino. You just have to give it to the base surface 1 and base surface 2. Uh, as you can see here, there is a division 1 and 2. This is going to divide the pattern uh, in the U direction. Remember, these are NURBS surfaces. So we have a U direction and a V direction. So this is also uh, one of the inputs we can give. Uh, there is a refine which is by default to false for example you can give it a toggle just search for toggle and use this to give it the refine input what it does it's uh, going to produce a rough mesh first when it's false so as you can see here there's a simple mesh if I bake that and hit ok uh, you can see that this is the mesh it's going to give us uh, from the simple mesh which is not really that refined uh, but if you uh, put this uh, toggle to true it's going to take a while because it has to rebuild the mesh and also there's a thickness for this so uh, you can change that later when you get the output and here in the refined mesh if I turn this on this preview on uh, you can see that we have the refined mesh here so if I bake that in Rhino and bring it here you can see that the mesh is completely refined. It has a thickness. And if I go to the rendered mode, uh, I can see the final results. So this uh, tool is going to help you to produce a gyroid pattern between two surfaces. Uh, you can increase the thickness when it's true. Just double click here and change this number uh, because it's going to take a while. Based on your system specification, it's going to take a while. So as you can see here, I can get uh, final results with more thickness. If you wanted to change the numbers, just uh, put this to false so you can see it faster and increase or decrease the number of divisions. You can see it maybe here. Uh, maybe we can just uh, bake the surface here. So if I move this surface a little bit up and scale this maybe and set this to the second surface, we can hide it and uh, put this to true and we can get a new mesh completely by using this component. Uh, remember this is a cluster so if you want to change it just double click this. It's going to open the cluster so you can change the components if you want to and let's go to the second cluster which is singular surface. Uh, for this example I have used just a simple cylinder here uh, to show you that you can use one surface to produce the final results. Uh, you just have to set it here. Remember, it's a NURB surface. Uh, this is, again, false. I'm going to change the number of divisions. For this one, I think that it's better to have more divisions. So I can double-click this, increase the number slider, and maybe put this to 3. Okay. Here, there is going to be a distance because this is an offset. So this is a simple offset on the surface. We can change that also. And finally, I can just hit refine uh, to see the results. Remember that this thickness uh, has to be changed uh, manually. Don't change it like by changing the slider. Uh, again, I have to turn on the refined mesh. It's turned on here and you can see the final results. Uh, I'm going to explain the algorithm in the download video lesson. So be sure also to download that and watch it if you want to know more. Uh, or you can go to the new website and stream it online if you want to just watch the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask below this lesson and see you next time. Bye.